Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews. And on this special accessory edition, we're going to be taking up the great kinesiology tape debate by comparing Genesis, Rock Tape by Turbo, and KT Tape for you the fans at home. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're doing the great kinesiology tape debate by comparing some of the most popular brands on the market. Now, we decided to do this in a very scientific method to make sure that each company got the best review that it could possibly get. We decided to break it down into different categories to make sure that each one was judged based on similar components, and then we'll talk about the intangibles afterwards. So why don't we jump right into it right now by looking at what our five categories were. We have thickness and comfort, how well it sticks before you start sweating, how well it sticks after you start sweating, removal, and then our overall favorites. Yes. Now, uh, when we did this, we wanted to make sure we also covered the most amount of body parts so we could get a feel for how it felt on uh, multi-flex joints, single flex joints, and how it worked uh, on different locations of your body because obviously we sweat differently in different spots. So Nick here had it on his wrist. Wayne had it on his upper arm, so from his bicep tricep up to his shoulder. And I had it from the bottom of my quadricep all the way down to my shin. So uh, why don't we take a second here and we're going to show a few pictures of how we applied it. And uh, we'll jump right back in. All right, guys, welcome back. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit about how we tested it, Scoops? Well, we each bowled five games. Uh, we were wearing uh, loose-fitting T-shirts, our jerseys, and shorts. And we didn't put any extra accessories like my armband or my sleeve or Rob's sleeve or anything on because we didn't want any interference in it, any r extra rubbing or anything like that. So. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that nothing would be peeling off or rubbing against the actual tape as we had it on because we wanted to make sure it had its best chance to stick and best chance to perform yeah. for each of the athletes. So why don't we dive right into category one with thickness and comfort. Now Scoops, I'll get you to talk about how you felt with the Genesis tape on your wrist. Um, it was firm, it stuck nice, it was very flexible, um, it was easy to apply, okay. and it uh, felt good. Now we kind of gave this about an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, you'll see all of our scores are going to be yeah. out of 10 here. We gave it an 8 out of 10. 10. Yeah. Um, it was, as you said, fairly flexible. flexible. Yeah. Um, you didn't really notice when you had no. it on. Yeah. Um, it, it just kind of, it was there, but it wasn't very uh, intrusive. Yeah. Now, what did you think of the rock tape? Um, the rock tape was nice. I felt it was a little bit thicker. Um, I could feel a little bit more tension on my wrist. Now it has a, a, a cotton-like back yeah, to yeah. it. And it is, it is a, a much thicker, thicker tape. Yeah. So we gave that a 9 on Thick and Comfort. Uh, and then the KT tape. I actually brought back KT tape from uh, Bowl Expo this year, so we had a new sample of it. Uh, and myself, I found that it went on very easily. Yeah. Uh, it had the same thickness, uh, maybe even a little thinner than the Genesis tape. Uh, and I definitely could not notice it once yeah. it was on. It, once it was there, it just you couldn't feel it at all. It was just floated on. Yeah, very, very... Yeah. One yeah. of the things I liked, too, about it is it was a very, very smooth, almost slick back to it. Yeah. So anytime anything touched it, it didn't really interfere with it. Yeah, so if you have a sleeve or something, I don't think it would rub very much and wouldn't really interfere with it. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go into category number two, which is going to be adhesive or how it was before we sweated. Um, so how sticky did you feel the Genesis tape was? Um, it was sticky. 
<laughs> it was it was well it was fairly easy to put on but it when you put it on it stuck where you wanted to so when you're putting it on and stretching it it was nice um you could get a nice even stretch and then reply it back and uh smooth it down fairly easy now that is one thing i did notice that the genesis tape had a little bit more stretch to yes, it than the yeah. kt tape did um the rock tape uh like the genesis tape was very easy to get stuck to you. I mean, yes. once you put it on, it was there. there. Yeah, it wasn't going anywhere. It was not going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, now, this was an important one for myself. Adhesive after sweating. Uh, as a lot of you who've watched the show before, you know that I had a, a pretty serious shoulder injury going into the World Series in 2014, and I rocked a ton of tape. Yes. Uh, Nick was wrapping me like a mummy before every block. <laughs> Uh, so I had a lot of experience with the KT tape. When I would start, if I put it on as soon as I started, it was pretty good. Yeah. But as the block went on, as I sweated more, I, I couldn't put on tape again. So I wanted to, ch wanted to find out exactly what it would be like for us to test it after we started sweating. And this was an interesting part of, of how we saw the, the actual tape working. Now, you had something very interesting to say about the the Genesis tape when you had it on. It, um, yeah, it, it went on and it, it kind of was on and then it started coming off. And then when I stopped for a little bit and cooled down, it stuck back down again. So it was kind of interesting and you felt similar when on your knee area, it kind of pulled away for a little bit and then came back. Well, for the KT tape, it was really interesting <laughs> because um, as soon as I started the sweating, it popped. On, yeah. on the stretched areas. It started to come up. And I was kind of upset about it, but as I sweated more, it actually got more um, adhes adhesion to it. Yeah. It ended up sticking itself back on. Yeah. So the more I sweat, the more it seemed to stick. Um, and of course there was the rock tape. It just stayed where it was. It just it, stayed where it, it was. It didn't move. Um, and that may be due to the, that cotton-like yeah. backing to it. It, it may have absorbed, absorbed some it. of the sweat, which to me was a good point because you weren't worried about it coming off or yeah. anything like that. Absolutely. Now this is this is a very important one uh, for all of those of, of you who've tried to take tape off before. Um, tape removal. Uh, Scoops, how did you feel getting the uh, Genesis tape off? Was um, it came off easily. Okay. Um, it did leave a little bit of residue, um, but that once again, you kind of give it a good rub and that comes off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it wasn't that bad. Okay. Uh, now for the KT tape, uh, it was super easy to yeah. get off. Um, it wasn't kind of falling off. It still was very yeah. easy to get off. The glue just kind of let go and there wasn't really any residue. Yeah. Uh, oh, we forgot something. So adhesive before yeah, oh, sweat. I don't think we even gave it for... Yeah, yeah, we're going to go sweat. back. Yeah, before sweat. Adhesive before sweat, yes. we gave Genesis and Rock Tape like 9 out of 10 yeah. and KT 7 out of 10. Yes. When we got to after sweating, well, yes. Genesis got a 7 because, as yeah. you said, it, it popped off, it but popped then it went off, down. Kinda, yeah. uh, Rock Tape, we gave a 9 because it never moved. And KT Tape, we started by giving it a 4, but it actually moved up to a 6 because it got better as you sweat. Yeah. Um, for removal, yeah. Genesis so was a 9. 9, yeah, definitely a 9. Yeah. Um, KT got a 10, because like we said, it was very easy to get off. And there was zero, zero residue. residue. Um, rock tape, on the other hand. <laughs> this is where rock tape fell a little bit. Yeah. And I, it, it's a bit of a detriment, but not really. I mean, it, it's almost like we had to complain about it to, <laughs> to give it something, but it was, it was like pulling crazy glue off your arm. The longer you yeah. leave the rock tape on, like I've left tape on for two, three, four days before. Yeah. Um, with Genesis, I've left tape on for a couple of days and it came off and it got a little stronger. Yeah. KT, I've never left on for more than a day. Um, rock tape, I left on for three days and I had to put olive oil on my arm to get it to come off. Yeah. Um, when I had it on my knee, same thing. Uh, once I got it off, I had to put some olive oil on to get the residue off, um, which sucked a little bit. Yeah. But the fact that it didn't move at all, it, you know, yeah. it, you can't have it both ways. Yeah. We gave it a six for that category, but like we said, it didn't move. Yeah. So it's kind of like... It's not moving, I mean, so you got to deal with it. you got to <laughs> deal with it. So, I mean, if you're going to bowl a long block, the rock tape's going to be better because it's not going anywhere, but you're going to pay for it at the end. Oh, yeah, you're going to pay for so, it. Or, or at least the first four or five layers of skin. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's get down to 
what are, we scored them as. Yeah. So we gave Genesis a 33 out of a possible 40. Uh, we gave Rock Tape a 33 yeah. out of a possible 40. Yeah. And we gave KT Tape a 29 yeah. out of a possible 40. So you can see they're, they're pretty well stacked together. Yeah. Each one has its pluses and negatives, and I think that's where it's going to be important because it's going to be important for you to choose where you find it's most important, for sure. Yeah, now there's there's a lot of intangibles we yeah. can talk about. Uh, obviously, Genesis talks about their, their copper-infused. The unfortunate part is, is we can't really talk about it. Uh, okay. When I contacted Genesis, it's a patent-pending process, so they couldn't tell us where the copper is, how much copper is in it, uh, the things that we would like to know in, in giving it a score for that. So we just, we can't do that. If you can't see it and we can't understand it, we yeah. can't score it. Um, the same thing about rock tape. It's the heaviness yeah. versus the slickness. Um, that's really a personal preference question. And I, I know I've heard a lot of people in talking at Bowl Expo and, and around, some people like the thinner, can't feel it. Yeah. Some people like the thicker, stuck in place. So we can't really say which is better there either. Uh, but for our personal preferences, what did you like the best? I liked the rock tape because personally I did like the thickness. I liked, because like I said, I had it on my wrist. I could feel that one working. Like when I yep. pulled my wrist in, it, I could feel that it was strengthening, using all the extra muscles, which is what it's designed to do. Yep. Not saying that the other two weren't, but for me, that's it felt like that. And I loved that it wasn't going anywhere. That's, like I said, I'll pay for the clean it up afterwards <laughs> because I know it's going to be there for the whole set. So uh, Now for Wayne, he preferred the Genesis tape. Yeah. Uh, for him, because he has a little bit of a, a shoulder and bicep issue, uh, its thinness was really nice to have on there. Didn't interfere with his yeah. shirt. Uh, he didn't really know it was there, but you could see a noticeable, actually a very noticeable, noticeable difference, difference in yeah. his shot. Um, so he could tell it was working there. I myself, I have to say I'm kind of split between the two brands. Um, the thickness of the rock tape, uh, anywhere on my knees and on major joints like my shoulder, uh, where, I'm where I still have that injury lingering, yeah. um, that thickness was amazing. It felt snug, it felt good. But in other areas, like if I'm putting it on my hand or my wrist, I don't like the, the tension. Yeah. Yeah. I like a little yeah. bit more flow yeah. to it because I use a lot more of my wrist. So I was really split in between the two of them. Um, so we kind of have to leave it up to the, the folks at home to choose theirs. Yeah. They've kind of seen where things are. Now, the one thing we can comment on is the price difference. Yes. In our research, we found that KT tape was the least expensive. It came in at around uh, $15 Canadian. Um, so for you Americans, probably in that 12, $10 to $12 range. Uh, where the rock tape came in roughly five dollars more expensive per roll and the Genesis tape came in ten dollars more expensive now obviously they have a little bit more expense because they talk about the copper that's in it so they're charging for for that usefulness and I'm hoping in future episodes we can talk about it when the patent is approved and, and we can actually talk about where and how the yeah. copper is um, so you know that's kinda how we came out on the tape I do have one comment though okay KT tape Yes. You can buy that... Anywhere. Anywhere. Rock tape. Only... Well, you can buy it from a rock tape dealer, rock tape online, or from your pro shop. shop. Okay. And Genesis tape. Pretty much only from your, your pro okay. shop. Okay. So that's three other things I wanted to point out. I just kind of thought about on the fly here. Yeah. So that could influence your choice, too, about where you can get it and how quickly you can get it. Absolutely. Like that. Now, another thing that we also know is that Genesis is a major sponsor for the PWBA. Yes. Um, so we can assume that a little bit of that extra cost also actually goes into supporting bowling. Yes. Um, so that if, you know, when you're buying Genesis tape, you're supporting bowling. When you're, bowl when you're buying rock tape, you are specifically um, supporting rock tape and Turbo, mm -hmm. who works in the industry as well. Yes. KT tape goes all over the yeah. world. Uh, it is the, the sponsor for the Olympics. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, uh, uh, at least the official kinesiology tape for the Olympics. So that gives you guys all the information that we could find on it. The only thing we can say is give it a try. 
Um, now, one interesting thing we did notice about Genesis's tape is in their finger and thumb tape line, they actually incorporate their uh, kinesiology tape in their first couple levels or thicknesses of tape, tape. Yeah. which gives them a much different feel, um, which was very surprising. Yeah. It actually was really nice on the thumb when I put on the medium thickness the one day um, and I stretched it out because it helped keep my thumb a little bit straighter because it had that tension in it. So anybody that's kind of kind of got the, the bends of the thumbs, yep. it's, um, it does pull back a little bit more, so which you notice a little bit flatter release. So Well, and because of the adhesive they have in their kinesiology tape, you can actually apply their thumb tape over other tapes. That too, yeah. So you can actually vary the thickness on your thumb rather than having to put yeah, more tape, tape in your ball. ball. So, you know, each company kind of comes with their own thing here. Yeah. So it's really interesting. And as we said, the best thing we can say is go out and try what you like. Find what you like and, and let us know. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side. This program sponsored by Turbo, driven to bowl, for all the quad two inserts and interchangeable thumbs we use in all of our videos. Coaches know where to get the best training aids from. Eileen's Bowling Buddy. Use code LANESIDE and save today. Bowlerama Berry, for all the lanes we bowl on. For birthday parties and corporate events, call now. Still searching for that perfect fit? With no residue and easy removal, Real Bowler's Tape really is the Real Bowler's Choice. And Logo Infusion. Look the best, be the best, infuse your game. Logo Infusion.